Late October 2024 with the Lovelocks of Sunning Hill. Rough cut photo trails. I'm going to go into some clips. The first one immediately after this uh, was shot a week ago. So when I talk in these clips, which are the introduction to basically the photo trail that follows, and this one is for the uh, get it right, late October 2024 photo trail. Uh, when I talk about the contents of the photo trails, I'll probably be referring to photo trails that come earlier. So, into that introduction, shot a week ago. And I'm gonna go back into the introduction in a moment that was shot a week ago. So, let's go straight to the robot boat, Snoopy's robot boat, and the photo trails in the middle will be the latest. There's a little aircraft. So, this morning, it's Saturday, whatever date it is in the middle of October, uh, I noticed that the test rig for testing a servo for depth to death, the servo was rotating continuously. And you'll find that subject comes up on the photo trails. We're still looking for a good solution for uh, the problems related to that. Uh, the very latest information at the back end of the photo trail was to use this to charge up completely the duplicated solar power. And I don't think that's been done for months, if not longer. And so the boat is now on 24 seven static test, but having been fully charged. And theoretically, from years ago, we reckoned that even without any light on the solar panels, the batteries in the boat should be good for, oh, six days or more. And obviously with any light coming in onto the solar panels, it should be more, and we've not noticed that. Right, what I'm gonna do now is to run into the introduction that was shot yeah, about a week ago on the probably early October photo trails. Oh, one thing I will mention, <laughs> at the back end, where it talks about uh, the DBLA, uh, the latest information I have, which is reflected um, diplomatically at the end of the photo trials, is that Julie Leonard, uh, the chief executive officer, or whatever it is, of the DBLA, is changing her job on the 25th of November uh, to be um, whatever it is, Director General of the Crown Prosecution Service. So she might be quite relieved to be doing a, a different job. Anyhow, congratulations, Julie. So now into that introduction that was shot about a week ago. And as I always say, they will be rough cut. So. This is where we live, 22 Armitage Court in Sunning Hill, all in signs about fierce guard cats. This place down here was uh, known as Robin's Corner a few years ago, uh, where GPS was tested from the late 1980s. This spot here, and yeah, that was the garden sculpture that June gave me for a birthday present a few years ago now. And here's the oak tree that sprung up for an acorn with the accommodation for an owl that's never been taken up. Cats have checked it out, those guard cats, you'll see them in due course. Here's the robot boat. Now what I'm doing is shooting this clip on, if I get the date right, Thursday the 11th of October and then using what clips I can to save repeating the work. So. One of the most important topics for some people <laughs> is Snoopy's robot boat to try and cross the Atlantic, that's Snoopy. And the recent photo trails, which are in the middle of this video, uh, are some of the latest thing, which is this bright idea of, instead of just a couple of resistors, um, in order to limit power drain by the servo, that drives the rudder. You'll see the rudder twitching every now and again. Anyhow, the nitty-gritty is in there, but basically when the power runs too low, 
typically overnight when there's no sun because these are solar powered then the servo because of the design of the servo tends to go hard over and there are stops then it stores against the stops and drains a lot more power um, and that runs the batteries much lower than they would have done anyhow there's me talking and talking and often photos and other stuff is more important so you'll see the latest on that which is that I'm hoping for help on the bit of electronics that could be inserted just like this but a little box of something there now what I'll do is I'll run into several other clips um, shot some of them fairly recently uh, but one thing I will point out because there is some more news in the photo trails and in fact it's gone up on one of the pages already um, it's on my website gpss.co.uk there was a charity sorry no no <laughs> was a business you see uh, business many years ago uh, as is quite clear if you look at it but now it's just charitable causes and hobbies like the robot boat and while we're on the subject this is June's car but uh, as many people know I'm not been able to drive due to the DVLA saying I mustn't drive and there is an update on that it's already gone up on one or two pages uh, but it's covered in the photo trail so there's a bit of news there, but that, that won't be of any real interest to many people. Um, right, there's most of what follows is pretty much the same as other clips that I'll use. But what is relatively new is that we've been putting peanuts out for some time. And I thought, ah, I found out recently from the closed circuit TV that the pigeons and other birds are gobbling away all the peanuts and so other wildlife like foxes, squirrels, deer, badgers, they're all been seen to go for them, they gobbled them all up. So I thought no, encourage the birds to go for stuff on the bird feeders like that one there but not go down there because well they're, they're also at risk to things like pussycats uh, and there's a record of them. So the reason I pause back here is you're now going to see and um, what I've got to do is change the recording that's on there but anybody who comes to the door or goes down Smile for the cameras You can read the warning notices if you wish uh, Yes, a bit of a joke but maybe not <laughs> Yeah, much too long a message also the wrong sort of thing So what I've seen so far and I haven't had a chance to check it is yeah it keeps on going on that could be a much shorter recording like um or whatever just enough to scare something like a bird but uh most of the foxes from the way i've seen they've reacted to other things it'd be a case of <laughs> right there's me talking the only reason i did that sh clip here was to show you that because it's a bit different so what i'm going to try and do now is go back up to about roughly where I started uh, a few days ago and uh, yeah it's all a matter of minimizing work really isn't it so oh that's the QR code by the way to go to the Snoopy page right now what I'll probably do here is cut into clips of video that most of which were shot uh, within the last few days and so one of them shows you what's going on inside Snoopy's robot boat beware guard cat on patrol well this one is Bentley he's the senior guard cat and he's been training yes that's right Bentley He's been training Toady since Tony, 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 Toady was an infant. Yes, I may as well put these out as well. Armed mice. You'll see lots of things where I'm making jokes, but you can never be sure whether 
they're true or not. Right. Hello, Toadie. If you've got any opinions, you may want to help testing of the boat. Now, just for this filming, I took the lid off the, the electronics and other bits and pieces and put on this text-to-speech unit and this was just for shooting this clip and hopefully we won't get any rain in the next few minutes so what I'll do is I'll switch on this and it'll go through a startup of waggling the rudder first of all and then speaking through the text-to-speech Software version Romeo, last update 6th of December 2017. 6th of December 2017. 2017. 44, 44 seconds, target alpha, 11 kilometers, at 349 degrees, GPS cross 147, speed 0.0 knots, left 158. Yes, the software hasn't been changed all these years. Uh, the main thing I've been doing, and it's shown the nitty gritty in the photo trails, is trying to find out. Yes, it's going on a bit interrupting, isn't it? Let me just switch it off for this. And I'll unplug the text to speech, which is only used for. And that's the text to speech cat. Now I'll switch it on now. Oh, there's a bit of wildlife there. Hello, bee coming. Hello, Toady. You want to help with this? You can't hold the camera for me, can you? What are you looking at now? Something or other. Yes. Yes, what I've been spending time on is these batteries here. If you do the simple arithmetic, they should be good without the solar panels working at all, in other words, completely covered, those should be capable of running the, power, the total electronic system for probably five or six days at least. Uh, so it's not able to do that. And that's what I've been spending the time over the last few weeks. And of course, in the process, finding lots of silly mistakes, badly soldered joints or bad wiring, whatever. And of course, the other important thing is occasionally it's the components that need fixing. And it's all done by measurement. Right, loads and loads of talking. So let's make sure that's in the dry. Right, that'll do. I'll come back and do that properly. I'll take that with me as well. Right, so yeah, I'll leave Toadie. Keep an eye on the boat, won't you? Yes, thought you would. Now here's another clip shot on the Friday. <laughs> and this is June's car, that's Samantha's car. And yes, promotion of a website that was a business many years ago, gpss.co.uk. And it's now hobbies like the robot boat and charitable causes. Um, now, I've not been able to drive for, oh, ages now because of the Driver Vehicle Licensing Agency and as it happens today, uh, a letter came in again. Um, so that photo trail for earlier today, which is the last photo trail, has some of the detail about that. Uh, anyhow, enough of that. Uh, down here. By the way, the women will be going off to tennis for the second time today. Uh, yeah, the cat ports, Samantha's car, the camper. And before I go into the house, I have to point out some warning signs. But first of all, the camper is what was used to take Snoopy's robot boat down to the coast for the last attempt on the Atlantic and it's got battle damage which I would not to want to be removed. Battle damage, June said Robin did it, Robin said the wall did it, but the wall is okay. Yes other things here like the flatulent fairy 
that was, uh, yes, related to this, uh, wasn't ready in time for Christmas to put up on one of the trees. Um, bird feed and stuff everywhere, including the bird feed here, and I'll need to top that up soon. That's getting low. Yeah, so a lot of photographs you see wildlife coming for that. And before I go into the house, uh, I've got to point out some warning signs uh, for health and safety reason. And what I have to add now, because people say, oh, you don't say that. Uh, everything is, of course, just a joke, right? So, first of all, uh, yes, signs like this. Closed circuit TV, hidden cameras inside and outside this house. Sound and video is monitored in local houses and everywhere. There's one camera there. No trespassing. Violators will be shot. Survivors will be shot again. And cross here. That's my study in there. Uh, and it says, do not disturb. I'm disturbed enough already. In fact, there's another camera there. And this sign... Uh, one thing that I've been curious about is the tr automatic subtitles with translation and the word NATO comes up differently for some reason. Um, don't know why that is but doesn't matter. Uh, perhaps this one will be different. Anyhow, there's that, this warning sign here. That is quite important because it's not just cameras. Home of mad ex-NATO scientist Robin Lovelock Beware of web cameras and water squirters loaded with water, paint, acid, DNA tracer or nerve agent. Robin would not be mad enough to test these, or would he? Just a joke, of course. Right, um, I think that's about it. That's the uh, ring camera, which is also picking up video and sound uh, instead of it going up on the door. I think those are most of the toys. Yes, so now I think we're risk going in. And so coming in, there's one of the tennis things. And yeah, so just going into the kitchen now. And this is the immaculate kitty, kitchen with all the work I did with the temporary mirrors and things. And here's Samantha and June practically ready to go off Mm. To tennis. Nick been forced to out so they'll be off soon. And yeah, just a quick look. This is this is the games room, and it has got particularly untidy recently. Um, I say recently for ages um, because of work on the robot boat. We get into the stage where the snooker table might have been cleared. But again, for those into property maintenance. The gardening work outside is easy all this stuff has to be put in the right place and decide what stuff is going to be given away or thrown away yeah peanuts we get through a lot of those and right just going outside here now as I say I don't know I might insert other clips in various places yes there's the pond drop down low that's a job to be done, mostly for the winter months. That's the patio area, the barbecue there. You'll see all these things on the photo trails. So let's go into those long photo trails now. Saturday the 19th of October 2024. Starting with a summary of the photo shot that day. Yes, that's June's purchase of a rather unconvincing black cat for Halloween not to be confused with Toady and I put the robot boat outside and we also found that Sally had won the local election and it didn't take very long to check out her and her husband and yes there's that storm forecast for the next day so made sure that the boat was securely tied to withstand that and video whatsapp chat with family at the back end of the day overlapping with having dinner which of course I took into the lounge and yes while June watches the tennis I get my exercise walking down to the comrades club 
and a game of pool and 0% Peroni before and of course yes quite a few games of pool actually uh, and walked back home anybody could have seen where I was including getting safely back and yes the YouTube video that was done for the next day and time for bed so that's the end of the summary so now in the photos or in the order shot yes so that boat was charged overnight and those were the leads I'd made up to charge it listen to the Radio 4 news yes you always see a serious expression on my face because the, most of the news is bad news uh, check in voltages on the boat left right and combined and the time that the measurements were made and switch the boat on so the batteries were fully charged for a change there and check them again and of course they do go down a little bit as soon as there's a load on the on there but they looked okay so then took them out well the batteries inside the boat took the boat out put it in position and because we had a storm forecast for the next day then other than just that one stick holding it I thought good idea to have some ties so they involved a bit of exploring about so basically the boat's running in position fingers crossed we'll see how long it lasts and yes that's going on at the same time and yes we'd heard the results so I thought yeah it doesn't take very long to check out the lady and that's what I love about some people they're very open and it certainly was uh, so she that's her business and she'd got on Dragon's Den with that yes and there's a lovely video and I took a frame or two of that with her husband who she introduced and it didn't take a moment to find it his business and he'd been in business a lot longer and uh, yeah garden maintenance and things there's his website so that's good that's what I like to see so back into the study oh yes rustled up my lunch and uh, I'd make quite a good chef wouldn't I um, but anyhow uh, yeah so all these things are going on in parallel processing of the video and yeah so out of my untidy study June watching tennis of course and a few snaps around the garden nothing particularly new there peanuts and food needed putting down including in that bird feeder over, over the second pond and that looks a bit that dead weed need to be removed so I broke that off and took it down and dumped it on the compost heap down the far end and that's the feeder at the front and that noise uh, seems to be keeping stuff away possibly the foxes as well uh, but anyhow that was topped up as well and then the feeder on the roof yes look at all that untidy stuff mostly clothes blame June for that not me and yes yeah, so put some feed on the bird feeder that's out on the roof a few snaps around there not much different than the last time I did it all overgrown it's on the list of jobs to do when we find something to do it and obviously I can do these things myself it's a matter of priorities what do you do first oh who's that that's Toadie sleeping in Michelle's room complete with all the other toys and things yes no change there so out to the boat yeah a little bit of sun hitting it check voltages so left is 5.44 right 5.69 and combined 5.19 volts at that time just five past three I think that was probably about three o'clock when I measured it and yes so put the meter back where it belongs for the moment with all that other junk including that stupid Halloween cat that June bought update the blog so anybody could see the details including uh, we can see when <laughs> somebody visited last and yeah there's a 
whatever that is. I had a bit of a doze, not for very long. Woke up and listened to the Radio 4 News and took a look at the forecast wind because one of the news items was a strong storm coming through. So I looked at the forecast for the next day and the south of England probably wouldn't get that much but I thought not a bad idea to use bits and pieces that I had lying around and stick in basically three stakes pick up the hammer down from the workshop area so I can bang those stakes into the ground and then I needed some string or something to tie the top of the mast to those stakes so you're looking around and all I could find was that stuff in June's greenhouse and I needed some snips to uh, cut it and yes so practically all in place with the I call it string it's got a brand name probably appears somewhere in the photos so looks as though that's all in place nicely tethered in case we get strong winds so it's not just that stick put the hammer back in the workshop area shot looking up the garden there's the front with the boat oh that's the stuff twisty tie don't tell June though because I used the last of that that was in the greenhouse right so what are we doing checking voltages again yes so overall Right, 5.22 left, only 1.63 on the right. Now that's, yeah, that's what it's saying. Yeah, so perhaps we've got a problem like a Duff battery. Now I can say this, that we're recording this the next day and that sorted itself out. So I'm not sure whether it was the measurements. Anyhow, there was the Twisty Tie brand. And then there's an update to the blog. So that photo was labelled as a put in there. And then we look at visitors. And yes. <laughs> yes, I think Richard had been visiting. No, I'm not sure. It's the first time. By coincidence, the first time that entries have been remo removed from revolver maps. Now he... Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. Just interesting. First time I've seen that in all these years. I wonder if somebody like a relative has said, oh, you better remove stuff there. Which is lovely, brings attention. I've made, made more of that on the blog actually today, a little picture of a burglar. Right, that's the video WhatsApp chat going on. There's a spare battery if I do need to change the battery for the right hand side that was measuring low. Yes, I thought I'd take a walk down to the Sunning Hill Comrades Club and uh, anybody could see me going and make sure I take that leaded cue ball with me some guys ask to use it oh there's Toady joining June in the kitchen so I'm off past the robot boat lovely not quite a full moon now um, walk down to the village into the comrades club yes just a couple of pictures there showing the 0% Peroni and the pool table didn't take hardly any um, and yeah back home robot boat there still running of course and back into the lounge yes that's the time goodness me is it that uh, I think that was five past twelve rather than one o'clock but uh, you can always check it look at the tracking Yes, so got back home here, okay. So, oh, he says, yeah, that looks good. Now, there's Toady, and right, time for bed, but I did take some pictures the next morning uh, because the YouTube had finished earlier than I thought. I didn't bother to get up in the middle of the night and uh, so that was good so that is the end of the photo trail Sunday the 20th of October 2024 starting with the summary of the photos shot including looking over the Bay of Naples from inside La Sorrentina yes that's a photo Adriano sent me afterwards 
Yes, do you watching tennis? Yes, lots of junk. Work on the robot boat, checking voltages and things. So that's still running after, well, whatever it was, over a day, certainly. Oh, yes, delivery of my visiting cards. That's another 18 months, maybe. <laughs> so, walk down into the village, and in Brendan Blenden Brew, uh, the cafe, recently opened. And yes, one or two snaps around the garden and on the boat. And then later in the day, uh, half past six, I think that was in the evening, into La Sorrentina. Enjoyed a glass of wine and, and the food there and the conversation, of course. And then across the road from the La Sorrentina into the Comrades Club. And back pretty late then, I think it was about midnight. And, uh, yes, checked the tracker, showed where it was, and that photo came through from Adriano. <laughs> so time for bed. So that's the end of the summary. So now into the photos in the order they were shot. Yeah, checking the wind in case that storm got stronger, but it didn't. It was about what we expected down here. Yes, the t servo test rig, charging batteries. Yeah, it's been ready in case I need to change a battery, but so far the boat seems to be running nicely. And, yeah, checking voltages. The left, 5.06, right, 5.64, combined, 4.88 volts. Yeah, check that again. Yeah, it goes up and down as it's, uh, as it's running. And so that's fine. Yeah, let's put things back. And... Yes, <laughs> we had a, a conversation going here, and uh, yes, and of course updates to the um, things like the blog page and checking the visits, which was interesting. And yes, <laughs> first time I'd seen it, but uh, uh, an Ascot visit kept disappearing. Ah, there's the delivery of the visiting cards, 2000 from Vistaprint. I think it's something like £35 or something spread over 18 months. Yeah. <laughs> Guy did a good job. And there they are. Just stick them down on the table, on the ground, not the table. And June watching tennis, I think. And I'm taking a walk down to the village. Yes, it's a Sunday, so yes, over the railway. Oh, yeah, I went to the one stop first. Um, to get a bit of cash and then into blend and brew yeah, coffee and a snack and then past the comrades club this is in the morning and yes there's the boat securely tied down for the the strong winds we didn't get but it's best to be prepared and what we got now? Yeah, yeah, just checking the tracker. Showed my little walk. Anybody saying, oh, it looks like Robin might have gone into... Yeah, he spent some time there. And back home, 22 Armitage Court. Just here. Right, so... Oh, yes. When I was putting the information up, Facebook was was chopping stuff out. Um, uh, you can you can understand all the trouble they get getting accused of things. Anyhow, I'm sure they'll improve. They had improved from what they were a year or two back, but of course they're fighting competition with all the other social media. So what do we got here? Updating the blog eleven, checking visitors. Hmm, that's interesting. One of them has disappeared. <laughs> Conversation going on with Richard on uh, solutions for the uh, servo thing. And, yeah, checking voltages again. At time, uh, 10 to 5 in the evening, that is. British summertime. Boat still running. And update the blog 11 with the information on it 
check who's visited. Oh, there's an Ascot visit, looks like. Yeah, I'm sure that's Richard. <laughs> that's the, the first time I've ever seen it. Uh, an entry rem, being removed from Revolver Maps. And that's what raises one's curiosity. It makes it look as though somebody is hiding. Could be anything doing that. But it's worth keeping an eye on. Right, putting the peanuts out. Down on the second pond. Everything is very overgrown, of course. Out the front. Yes, make sure there's plenty of peanuts there. And that feed has hardly gone down. And it's almost certainly that sound. So I switched it off. And we'll see if that affects it. Because you can see the level of the feeder without even looking on the closed circuit TV to see what what has been eaten. And you usually guess what it is. Foxes. Yes, there's the untidy, if you, whatever you call it, spare bedroom access to the roof. And there's that stupid black cat that June got for Halloween. Oh yes, that was the conversation uh, by Richard. He, he said, oh, ask your granddad. And <laughs> immediately triggered that. Memories of Harold Sharp and the song. Yeah, so that looks like a destination of La Sorrentina. And... Yes, so I'm off. And this is quite early. Um, I think it was about half past six in the evening that uh, I went in there. And uh, not on the photo trail, but it was thoroughly enjoyable. And uh, including me in, walked round into the kitchen. So yeah, there's a few snaps carefully taken of, around the wall. And, uh, and eating. And... Uh, yeah, when I got back, there was an email from... Yes, that's... I like that picture. Looking across the bay. And then coffee. And, of course, the bill. And, yeah. And then across the road. Took no photos to speak of, but... Ah, oh, lovely long time there. Games of pool. And, of course, the important thing are the conversations. Including, I remember, with Mike. And, yeah, back home. Pretty late by then. I think that was probably five past midnight. And, yes, yeah, just tra check the tracker. So, yes, back here, number 22. And there's the photo that I'd received from Adriano by email. So, time for bed. And that's the end of the photo trail. Monday the 21st of October 2024, starting with the summary of the photo shot. Yes, that stupid cat. And doing measurements on the robot boat, yeah, which is still running okay. Uh, there we go. And, oh yes, <laughs> it was pub lunch with grumpy old friends down at the cricketers, known as the Beef Eater or beef eaters yes yeah, so enjoyable meal and conversations and yes back home and did a few odds and ends before joining them for coffee including phoning magnolia house and yes the other thing was <laughs> lovely conversation with a guy related to that logger but much more wider things than that it reminded me of uh, a guy into geocaching. Yes, closed circuit TV check, foxes. And take my cue ball down to the village and into the Comrades Club. Didn't take any photos there, but very enjoyable time with the guys. And uh, yes, back home. And yes, anybody could see where I was spending time at the Comrades Club and getting back home here at 22 Armitage Court. It's time for bed, so that's the end of the summary. So now into the photos and the order shot. Yes, picked up the meter in the games room. Yeah, dustmen were coming. And uh, checked the voltages on the robot boat. So left was 4.96, 4.96, 4.96, 4.96, 4.96, 4.96, 4.96, 4.96, 4.96, 4.96, 4.96, 4.96, 4.96, 4.96, 4.96, 4.96, 4.96
5.77 and combined 4.63. Uh, check that again because it was uh, uh, it's a little bit when it's uh, operating and it's all running okay. Yeah, a few snaps in the garden. Yes, pond's low. And that arm had been moved into the pond, put it back where it belongs. And yes, all the junk, mostly robot junk, boat junk there at the moment. It's on the list of things to be done. Close circuit TV, yeah, birdies coming for the feeder. Yeah, coming up to 12 o'clock midday and Stuart arrives. And yeah, the prop dustbin's caused a bit of a problem with the parking, but not to worry. And then we're off. And yes, past a few landmarks like the windmill pub. And down the A30 into the cricketers. Ifita. I like that sign. <laughs> and yes, enjoyed our meal. Yeah, curry that was. Uh, you can see what they had. Yeah, I think three of us had the curry. And then back home over into Berkshire, past the Beristead into Armitage Court and then I pop back just to check one or two things uh, typically things like emails that have come in yeah. and the robot oh yes the dustbin so I thought yeah better move those they cause Stuart problem anyhow but <laughs> put those back in the right place June's watching the tennis just for a change I check the tracker yeah might as well do it there yes there's a trip down to the cricketers and obviously named after the cricket club field and then back home to 22 Armitage Court and soon we'll be going up for coffee <laughs> and just up the road yes so yeah I'll check those voltages a little background activity only takes a few minutes and the photos means I don't even have to spend the right time writing it down at the time and uh, yeah that's all running okay so up to Richards and yeah nice coffee and chat there then back home yeah June's watching the tennis check the voltages again yeah they all look pretty well what would be expected then five past three in the afternoon BST, British Standard Time. June's still watching the tennis. I decided to give a call. I, I told her first, but uh, speeding up the process of her getting a blood test. It seemed to be very slow process. And uh, I expect it's all to do with budgets. That, that parrot picture was from Saskia, the daughter. You get these coincidences all the time. Oh yes, that was the conversation with the guy from whom I bought the uh, the GPS logger. And anyhow, interesting conversation there. We'll see where it goes. And uh, as I've always said, people are far more important than the organisation or the product. Uh, Yes, <laughs> well, you can look at the words if you like, but uh, it certainly reminded me of my uh, friend George from early geocaching days and others. 2001, I think that was. Yes, robot boat. June's watching the tennis. Then later in the day, time to have some food, which June rustled up. So take that into the naughty corner in the lounge where well, I can enjoy the food. And, yes, a few other snaps there. Close circuit TV check. Wasn't a lot happening. Um, foxes coming on the back bridge. Might have been scared away by, there's two there. Might have been scared away by that sound from the front, which is now switched off. So they may not have got into the habit coming to the front again. Yes, that was running back from midnight. Yes, yeah, as me coming back from the Comrades Club. There's a fox. Yes, 
and there's me leaving for the Comrades Club because that was running backwards. And 1718 Greenwich Mean Time was when the cameras switched to black and white for the night. Ah, yes. Time to go down to the Comrades Club armed with my special cue ball. June's watching tennis, of course. Past the robot boat. And down through into the village into the comrades club lovely time there <laughs> you get coincidences it turns out that michelle's daughter is called saskia so <laughs> there's two people with the same name as two of their daughters right checking the tracker yes there's robin in the comrades club and there he is coming home yes into Number 22, Armitage Court. Just here. I put the tracker on charge. Time for bed. So that's the end of the photo trail. Tuesday the 22nd of October 2024. Starting with a summary of the photo shot that day. Yes, that's Bentley. Near the back door of the games room. And the robot boat's in there. And basically I found it a stupid mistake. A badly soldered joint. So I fixed that. Put the boat on charge. Which was most of the day. Back end of the day. Took it outside. And was switched on. And left it running. 24-7 static test. Also during the day. I took a walk down to the Blend and Brew Cafe. Enjoyed my time there. Popped into Chapman's and other places. Yes, yeah, saw the four candles. And, yeah, when I got back, Gary was there working on the cars. Both needed servicing. Yeah, Gary's been doing air cars for years. Yeah, back end of the day, eating. And Brian Blessed came up. <laughs> and, uh, yes, overlap with things like the aerial pictures from many years ago that I shot. Anyhow, down to the village at the back end, into the Comrades Club. Yeah, no photos inside, but lovely time playing pool and chatting and things back home yes check the track anybody could see where i was oh we've been spending time in the comrades club and then back home 22 armitage court and yes time for bed so that's the end of the summary so now into the photos in the order that shot yes so the boat the close circuit tv showed when it was working and when it stopped and what else? Oh yeah, I took the meter out and checked the voltages on it. And yes, very low, 2.14, 2.39. Uh, look at those. Yeah, much too low. So that all confirms it's not working. So that was quarter to 11 in the morning, British Standard Time. And yeah, I thought those voltages looked a bit different to what I expected. And... Oh, that was the test rig, testing a servo to death. So it's all about charging up batteries when they've gone flat. Yes, that's the untidy games room. Blog 11, probably made an update to that. And there's Bentley, decided to come in for yeah, late breakfast, perhaps, during watching the tennis. Right, I take the boat back inside, into the uh, games room. That's Bentley de interrupted me there. Uh, yes, so that's the games room. That's where the boat is going there. Yeah, switch it off. And, yes, hello, Bentley. He's looking out the window. Put things back where they belong. Oh, no, just took it out, the screwdriver. Uh, took the lid off and looked at it. And, God, dear, what a terrible job there. Had to get a soldering iron out. And as best I could, fingers crossed, that's a better soldered joint than it was before. Yes, yeah, check the voltages. Because it's been switched off, they climbed a little bit. But put it on charge. And in fact, most of the day it was on charge using those leads I'd made up. So charging both left and right hand side batteries. And, yeah, so updated the blog 11 with the nitty gritty of what was done, including that photograph, but put some labels on it. And, yes, that's charging. Yes, the video from the day before. Yes, put in a commentary on it like I'm doing now for this one. 
June's watching the tennis and rustling up some food by the look of it. And I'm going outside. Yes, boat's not there now. And I'm taking a walk down into our village in order to go into Blend and Brew, the cafe that's opened up recently. And I, yes, I had thought of buying that nice bit of down the, the flower shop. I'd seen it, but unfortunately, it had been sold. And uh, oh yes, <laughs> went into Chapman's. That was for several reasons. And uh, yes, I I'd seen that before. It was a birthday present. <laughs> Fork candles. Some will remember that series. And the two Ronnies, wasn't it? And yeah, back walking back up the high street. Yes, yeah, coming out of the village. And when I get home, Gary's there working on the cars. Both cars needed a service. And that went through okay. June's watching tennis just for a change. Yes, yeah, checking the charging. And yeah, check the tracker. Just see that was working. Yes, that shows Robin's walk, including spending time at Blend and Brew. And yeah, and into Chapman's, of course, and then back home at number 22 Armitage Court, just here. And yes, that's I I looked it up online, and I thought, ah, perhaps yes. I didn't, I, you suddenly found that you got hidden costs and things. Uh, I find it most annoying. But anyhow, there's Toadie. He found somewhere to relax outside in the back garden. So I took several snaps down there. Down to the Gunra. Only one surviving now, unfortunately. And yes, usual break, all overgrown. And, yeah, it's the washing line, looking up the garden. And, yes, that was Toadie. There's the telescope. Obviously, oh, the pond, yes, very low. Leak to be worked on sometime, probably the winter months. Oh, <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, one of my friends in China. And uh, following up, make sure he's still working for the same place. Uh, there's Gary. Yes, that's light's got to be replaced apparently. Uh, yes, there you go. I had a bit of a doze, but not for very long. Soon woke up. And uh, yes, had a phone call. And uh, that was yes, that would have been from Terry uh, related to. Yes, I realised. Yes, some of that design documentation was so tucked away. It's just grown over the years. And uh, so probably it could be tidied up a little bit. Ah, uh, yes, looks like the boat is charged because the green light has come on now instead of the red light. So it could be switched on. That was at quarter to seven, British Standard Time. Uh, check voltages. Yes, they're good and healthy and high. Left hand, right hand and combined. So that's good. So the boat is now running. Yes, use that little lamp to make it easier to see what I was doing. Yeah, it's closer to TV, shows me carrying it out and putting it in place, including staking it, tying it in case we get any strong winds. So the boat's now running on 24-7 test, and we'll see whether it lasts as it should do for days. Uh, June's rustled up dinner. The pussycat is relaxing in the hall. That was Toadie. Take Oh yes, Brian Blessed. <laughs> and uh, yes, uh, tucked away in my pages, I've got uh, aerial video starting with aerial photos from the late 60s. Uh, and uh, yeah, these things overlap. And yes, <laughs> Air Plaster who did their work a few days ago is tucked away on one of their pages. And uh, yes, looks like I've picked up a... Uh, special cue ball to take a walk down into the village yeah lovely night it was and into the comrades club but i didn't take any photos in there but i spent a lovely few hours conversations and playing pool and back home 
Yes, yeah, so the robot boat is still on 24-7 test and running. Yeah, look to the dragger. Anybody say, oh, Robin spent time in the Comrades Club. And back home. Yes, 22 Armitage Court. Just here. Yeah, put the tracker on charge. Uh, that's about it. Time for bed. And that's the end of the photo trail. Wednesday the 23rd of October 2024. Starting with a summary of the photo shot that day. Yes, that's Toadie in our games room. Taking interest in things like the pussycat that June got for Halloween. Chewing its whiskers. Yes, and it taking interest in the electronics for the robot boat. Sat outside on 24-7. Yeah, occasionally he patrols around that. And Robin was interested in the people visiting his blog 11. From all sorts of places. China, even Lebanon as well. And, uh, yeah, back end of the day. June's rustled up food. Robin takes it into this. And Robin exercises himself by taking a walk down into the village. And into the Comrades Club. And then back out. And... Yes, that was quite a long stay at the Comrades Club, by the way. <laughs> Very enjoyable conversations and games of pool. Oh, yes, check me tracker. Yeah, anybody could see Robin was in the Comrades Club and how long for. It's time for bed, so that's the end of the summary. So now into the photos in the order shot. Yes, yeah, that, that was my imaginative late breakfast. Yes, and took that into the lounge. And, yes, I did some updates uh, following some uh, telecons with uh, Terry to make the uh, Snoopy page a little clearer and also the blog. Oh, sorry, the design page. Uh, yes, there's me checking out things. And Toadie's now outside and keeping an eye on the robot boat, I suppose. There's a blank screen, not sure what picture didn't come out. Yeah, so check voltages on the boat. That's still been running for uh, whatever it is, less than a day, I think, since charging it up and connecting a, fixing a soldered joint. Yes, so that's all okay. Yes, there's Toadie. Hello, Toadie. And then some updates on things like the blog, given the details of voltages and everything I've measured and how long the boat's been running. Uh, look at the back garden. Yes, pond's low. A job for the winter. That's the easy way of putting it. Uh, put some peanuts out. Uh, watched by Toady. Uh, yes, now this is where he starts prowling around the table with all the electronic junk on. And taking a particular interest in that cat. Uh, including chewing his whiskers. Yes, that's destined to go outside for Halloween. Oh dear, there's a phone call. Oh, I better take it. No, no, sir. <laughs> That'll be a junk call. <laughs> they, they do that. Sorry about that interruption, but I carry on. Yes, more of Toadie. And, yes. And put a few peanuts out. Including that feed has hardly gone down at all, uh, and it may be that the the unit near it making sounds, which has been switched off for several days, had frightened a few things away. So there's Toady prowling around, and what's that? Oh yes, <laughs> yeah, some postings out on things like the microtransact group and Robin Lovelock friends, and uh, of course you get visits. Had a bit of a doze, not for very long though. And yeah, go, going outside, checking the boat. Still running, of course, but check things like voltages. Oh, hello, Toady. Yes, listening to the Radio 4 news. Obviously, that's mostly sad news. Yeah, topped up the peanuts. Looked at visits at the Blog 11 page, and yes, one was from that little bit of China. And these can be guys that you're in conversation with, or guys that they pass the link to, which is fine. And 
Yeah, Lebanon. Uh, could be all sorts of possibilities. And uh, yeah, there's a fox coming live on the top bridge. June's rustled up food. And I take it into the naughty corner in the lounge and do a few other things. Well, not a lot. I decide, yes, time to take a walk down to the village and get a bit of exercise past the robot boat. And down the main road, a high street, into the village, into the Comrades Club. And didn't take any photos but lots of <laughs> enjoyable conversations and yeah back home into the house check a few things like the trackers see it was working yes there's Robin at the Comrades Club and there he is walking back home or walking up there and yeah back home 22 Armitage Court just here yeah put the tracker on charge time for bed so that's the end of the photo trail Thursday the 24th of October 2024 starting with a summary of the photo shot yes that's Bentley sat in the washing basket keeping the guard on the back door and that's Toady prowling around doing various things yes work on the bro robot boat on 24-7 test and keeping an eye on voltages so leaving it running after fully charged and of course that gets updated make note of the times and that's running still updated the blog 11 with a nitty gritty of what's happening and of course it's interesting seeing who visited <laughs> all in there a few snaps around the garden all overgrown yeah no time to do that yes there's the pussycat June got for Halloween and rustled up my own lunch and then later in the day took a walk down into blend and brew to have coffee and cake and conversation and then popped across to join june uh, with doggy romeo at the bouncers and yes that amused me <laughs> and then i popped into tesco express for some essential shopping from not chocolate for making my way home Yes, more stuff on the robot boat. And June watching tennis later in the day. So, ah, right, I go down into the flame kebab. And, yes, have a burger, but interesting conversation continued into the Comrades Club. And, yeah, back home. Yeah, check the tracker. Anybody could see where I was, including time in the Comrades Club and back home. So, time for bed. So that's the end of the summary. So now into the photos in the order that I shot. Yes, we had a bit of sun that day. And, uh, of course, mostly shaded by the oak tree. But as leaves come off, that will hopefully improve. Checking the voltages, including left 5.16, right 5.16, overall 4.92 combined at 12.30 British Standard Time. So the boat's running. And, yeah put that back where it belongs with the pussycat for Halloween and that test rig is still running and yes just showing the untidy games room and June watching tennis in the kitchen update the blog blog 11 with the nitty-gritty of the measurements and look at the visitors yes interesting and uh, yes causes me some amusement and I got that section with a little burglar on it so yes that's the spare spot tracker in June's car that needed charging up and it had been charged but it hadn't been put in the car and they're yeah, checking things now so that's the anybody could look at that on spot T2 live and of course it wasn't long since I'd switched it on so give it a little bit longer and then it comes up, there we go, spot T2 at the correct position with all the details. So that's good. And it, but it also gives the warning that the batteries need charging. But it's got a solar panel there. But it's good, it's still functioning even though it recognises the battery's running low. Oh, there's Bentley. Yes, relaxing in the washing basket. 
his story is probably that he's keeping an eye on the back door and I think coming through the cat flat quite difficult for a burglar to get through the cat flat it's a bit small for him but not to worry so a few snaps around the garden yeah the sun's out of course a lot of shade and there Toadie has decided to relax on top of that plastic box keep an eye for things probably unfortunate birds or mice but I think they're clever enough to see him yes grass is very overgrown there uh, as is everything yes the gunner is still surviving that one yeah a few snaps down the end including the bog garden area not the third pond that's a, a reservoir and yeah a few snaps looking at the second pond up there bird feeders and things and the old boat seat just a record of what the garden was like on that day yes the junk heap loads of work needed mostly in the category of putting things in the right place and throwing away or giving away the stuff we don't need yes there's toady yes still taking it easy yeah looking up all that vine and wisteria all overgrown and there's Bentley decided to come out and prowl around so he got fed up with the washing basket and probably had his food as well yeah back into the games room yes there's the pussycat for Halloween rustled up my lunch very imaginatively and take it into the naughty corner which is much more relaxed seating and then decided all oh, right take a walk down to the village June had already gone down to spend time with Balbansal and so I thought no I'll have coffee in blend and brew and then go across there was quite a time over there an enjoyable conversation and there's Romeo their doggy yes I saw that <laughs> and yes that corner still hasn't been repaired yet popped into Tesco Express uh, got some fruit not chocolate there's the white bus that June used to take as a child through to school at Windsor back home you see it's getting dark now yes the solar lights come on on the boat into the house there's Toady in the lounge prowling around hello Toady so I'll probably check the tracker yes there you go there's my walking around the village during the day including spending time wherever that was these easy to lose track yes yeah, so back home just here and oh yes I use that lamp makes it easy to see what I was doing check the voltages again 5.08 5.06 and combine 4.83 at half past six in the evening so that I think is about one day of running and yes put some peanuts out on the top bridge and also upstairs get out onto the roof yeah look at how untidy it is you can see there on the closed circuit tv me topping up the uh, bird feeder and check the blog and update it with the latest probably those voltages ah yes time for a walk down to the village armed with the with the uh, cue ball uh, but did I go directly into the comrades club no I think I decided to go into the flame kebab and uh, <laughs> have a have a chat there met a new friend Chris and we continued our conversation in the comrades club with other guys so made my way back home yes past the boat and into the house ah oh, yes she's probably saying looking for where toady has got to yeah I checked the tracker yes it shows that I spent time at the comrades club and yeah as well as before that the uh, main cafe back home here yeah put the tracker on charge 
listen to the Radio 4 News. Time for bed, so that's the end of the photo trail. Friday the 25th of October 2024, started with a summary of the photos shot that day. Yes, Snoopy's robot boat on static test outside the front. Checking voltages on a regular basis, making sure that the power copes. And a few snaps around the garden, showing how overgrown it's become. And how untidy in the games room. And topping up the bird feeders. And June watching tennis on the television. And one trip down to the village was to the Blend and Brew Cafe. Not long open, just for a coffee and a chat. Back end of the day. And June still watching tennis. And yes, check the trackers. Anybody could see where I was. Where I was spending time. Old foxes visiting. And the boat. And yes, take that cue ball. You can guess where I'm going. Down to the Comrades Club. But, first of all, into the Flame Kebab. Yes, interesting conversations while I have a snack. Then into the Comrades Club. Yes, and then back home. And there's the boat. June's watching the tennis. I check the tracker, just for a change. Yes, there's my time spent at the Flame Kebab. And then Comrades Club. And back home at 22 Armitage Court. Then time for bed, so that's the end of the summary. So now the photos in the order shot. First was an easy way of recording the voltages. So left was 5.09, sorry, 5.0. Oh, too fast for me to keep up. You can see what they are and the time that the voltages were taken. That goes into the blog, blog 11, keeping a record of it. There it is. There's the update to blog 11. And June's watching the tennis. So, what am I doing? Probably relaxing, listening to the Radio 4 News. And oh, kicking off the processing of a video. Uh, that was the, uh, whatever it was, late October, I think. And I had problems with it, so I'll be doing that again. Yes, a few snaps around the garden. And, yes, everything's overgrown, pond's low. And, yes, everything's overgrown, you can see that. So, back into the games room. All that junk, yes, Halloween thing. Server being tested. Oh, yes, some old bananas that were well rotting away. So, I thought, well, perhaps the birds might have them. And, of course, there's lots of things to go up for that bird feeder, including mice. Yeah, look at it, all overgrown. That's oh, all sorts of things. Wisteria, vine, with grapes on. Oh, look at, yeah, look how untidy. That's all clothes. So, you can guess who you can blame for that. Certainly not Robin. Yes. Hmm, what do you do about that? Yeah, tennis again. And back into the games room. Yes, yeah, so you can see anything coming for the food. Yes, yeah, peanuts. Those out listening to the Radio 4 News again. And I think that was a bird. So, looks like I'm off again. Down into the village. Into the flame kebab, I should think. Or is it the blend and brew? Ah, oh, that's the blend and brew. Coffee there. Yeah, look, just across the road to the flame. Then back home. Yeah, sunset. There's the boat, still running. And, yes, yeah, Snoopy Snoop 11. He survived quite a few years. Doing watching the tennis. Yes, that's that process. It takes ages. Leave it running. And, yeah, that shows where I've been, including getting back home to 22 Armitage Court, just here. Oh, two foxes <laughs> coming for the peanuts on the top bridge just out the back. 
near our patio. You see it's getting a lot lighter. Lighter did I say? Darker now. Yes, yeah, so I'm going out with a lamp so I can see the voltages. Measure left 4.91, right 4.88 and 4.65 combined at quarter to 7 in the evening. Still running. Put things back where they were. Put a battery on charge for that servo test rig. We're just leaving a servo running. Updated the blog. Listened to the Radio 4 News. And yes, planning to go down with my lead weighted cue ball. As it happened, the cue table wasn't working. And uh, so hopefully they're going to have somebody come in to fix it. it. Got jammed up in some way. Anyhow, that's on my way down there. Oh, that was Bentley. <laughs> yes, I was on my way out. And then Bentley wanted to come in to have supper. So I had to let him in. And then off again. So, down the main road. And into the village. Into the flame kebab. And I had a, like, I, was, I had a look what to have. I ended up having a cheeseburger again and some chips. And then into the Comrades Club. A bit of time there. And then back home. With the robot boat still running outside. June still watching the tennis. That video is still processing. Takes a long, long time to do it. So I only do it about every week, I suppose. Roughly. Yeah, that shows where I've been. And back home. At number 22 Armitage Court. Just here. I'll put the tracker on charge. Time for bed. So that's the end of the photo trail. I warned you they will be long photo trails. So back into the house. We're going to drop into material uh, that was shot oh, some time ago. Which is on two subjects. Global warming and the prophetic words of James Lovelock and my experiences with the DVLA, the Driver Vehicle Licensing Agency. I, I shouldn't joke about it, but it uh, looks like the women are about to leave. Yes, they are. So, yeah, you've got your little tracker with you, have you, dear? Yeah. Somewhere there? Yeah. Right, okay. And they're about to go off. So, again, you respond to whatever's happening at the time. Some of my friends have gotten interested in filmmaking. I'm completely rubbish at it as I am with photography. Yes, yeah, so that's a little patch which again is in the category of work to be done. You see all that's falling apart here. Quite a lot of property we've got here. It's just a case of using it properly. Right, so they're off. Yes. So you're going in smack this car then, are you? <laughs> yeah, looks like it. Yeah. Yes. Have you seen the pussycat? No, no. Ah, okay. Right, up for he, he went, came in, went out again. Yeah, he's not in his fort. Yeah. Okay, not to worry. Okay. So where were we? Oh, good. They left the door open. Right. We're now going to run into that material that was shot whenever it was, eighteen months ago, um, which was on those two subjects. Global warming and my experiences with the driver vehicle licensing agency. And I think that material, yes, I always point that out, sorry. That's the expensive Renoir that we've got. And that's the little pocket camera that's is what I've been using. So I think that earlier material started at about here. Now what I put on the screen because global warming is rare in itself, it's something that's been on my grumpy page for years. The remarkable James Lovelock, who passed away on the 26th of July, his 103rd birthday. I'll read out the, what this says here. This has been on the grumpy page for years, not long after the publication of his book, 
Revenge of Gaia. We can't stop global warming, but we may delay it by a few decades to give us time to prepare for its effects. Vast areas of the world, including as close as continental Europe, become in arid desert, shrinking of habitable areas of the planet to much smaller parts of the planet, closer to the poles. The Earth will then only be able to support a small fraction of its present population and there will be a need for massive migration. Places like the UK will remain temperate a little longer, so be an attractive destination. We need all world governments to cooperate to prepare for this inevitability. Also to agree things like reduce use of fossil fuels, give us a few more decades to prepare. And then it goes on, the above is not a quote, but how I remember what James Lovelock said in his book, The Revenge of Gaia, etc. That's been unchanged on my site for years. And, um, right, well, the other thing I should mention, yes, retired, happy, and spending that kid's inheritance, is uh, for some time now I've not been able to drive due to, well, several mistakes at the TVLA. And what I will say um, is that I have new evidence of what happened inside uh, the DVLA, which um, I won't publish yet because I'm still waiting for the reply to the letter which was delivered by recorded delivery to the head of the DVLA and also uh, other people. So uh, I'll put in at the end of this long video the video that's uh, gone up me talking about the TVLA and basically in summary it, uh, it says I don't want anybody to get in, into trouble and that is definitely the case and resigning is too easy, problems need to be fixed but quite honestly that is a minor thing compared with all the other things that are going on in the world not least wars and of course what's in the background and very important is global warming so let's run into that back in 2012. The most important thing of the lot, of course, is Snoopy the Viking, the skipper. I don't think he'd make it otherwise. We've also got another bit and piece here. This is a GPS logger that logs the position every 15 minutes. For that was back in 2012. Um, the guy that put this material together, including live broadcast and what went up on the BBC website, is Ben Moore. I just worried for Snoopy. Sport now and Hampshire... Right, on to the next topic right now I'm going to do this all in one take um, all re unrehearsed and unscripted so sorry about that uh, what I'd like to happen if anybody picks up on the uh, DVLA story is as I say nobody getting into trouble and that is a, that's a genuine request. But when they, they find flaws in procedures where they don't cover certain things, it would be good if those are fixed. What I think would be useful uh, for anybody looking at the DVLA and perhaps helping them is, first of all, their organisation chart show, showing the structure. Yes, it's well known who the head of the DVLA, remarkable woman looking at her CV. Um, and... Relevant to this story is uh, the head of the health part. But it would be very useful to see, even if names aren't attached, obviously the names can be attached where they're public already, is how many people in each branch, how many people are reporting to how many. Uh, so a simple tree would help. I suggest that first of all. Then, perhaps even more important, is... How many people working for the DVLA, even if you don't identify the individuals, are salaried by the DVLA <coughs> excuse me, directly 
as opposed to contracted through an agency or a business. That is very important and we've seen what's been happening in places like the NHS for years. Um, so that comes into the equation in terms of whether money is well spent and of course the DVLA collects a lot of money. Um, and there are probably other things as well. But as a starting point, I'd hope anybody that responds to this, uh, I can't afford to get overloaded. We've got other things to do, many other things to do. Uh, and we'll be taking a holiday. That would be public, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm tracked everywhere by different things. And in fact, if anybody's paranoid about it, uh, anybody who's tracking somebody or looking at somebody is probably seen <laughs> already. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, there's me wittering on, which is one of my main weakness since I was a little, little child. That's why if you put things up, clearly be careful what you put up. And uh, often it can do some good. I'm now in the kitchen and June's rustling up some food in the microwave for Samantha and here's Samantha and of course there's tennis on the television just for a change so oh yes point out holidays in Sicily we're going off to Sicily again soon and into the hall yes nice expensive paintings here Yep, expensive little pocket camera, <laughs> not expensive. And through into the lounge and out to wrap up this video by saying, look after yourselves, stay safe and enjoy what days we have. Yes, it's now middle of March 2024 and uh, the pond's changed quite a bit. I'll have to change the copyright statement at the end, uh, but the message is the same. Look after yourselves, stay safe and enjoy life while we can. Oh yeah, my hair's grown a bit since then.